So another thing, um, that I want to talk about is you don't have to know who you are. You don't have to fit into some personality or identity. If you do, that's fine too. But most of my life, I've been, I think, what most people call a chameleon. I can fit into any situation, and I'm not being fake, uh, but I have a very flexible identity or personality. And often when I'm alone, I have no identity or personality. I don't even really have, in some moments, likes or dislikes or anything. I'm just, I just exist as like um, formlessness. And I can, can change uh, per my environment and even master many skills per my environment. Even be very knowledgeable, even more so sometimes than people who have spent their, their whole uh, life in that environment. And so... This can be very challenging, especially as a teenager, um, especially if you uh, have uh, out-of-body experiences and moments of feeling like, is this real? Who am I? What is this? What is this thing called human existence? Uh, which I had those feelings you know, quite a bit as well. And uh, sometimes those feelings are brought on by stress but not always. Uh, a lot of times those feelings are brought on by, uh, you know, what, what I call awakening. You're waking up to the fact that you actually aren't this identity. You aren't this uh, personality. If you were born in a different time and place, your name wouldn't be what it is. Your religion probably wouldn't be what it is. Your beliefs wouldn't be what they are. What you eat wouldn't be what it is. Uh, your likes and dislikes wouldn't be. What they are. It's all very um, circumstantial, and but who you really are is not circumstantial. Uh, there's this deep essence about who you are, this awareness, or you could call it a soul or something, that is not tied to your identity. It's not tied to this body. It's not tied to this personality. And I felt that quite often when I was very young uh, and on and off throughout uh, my life. I didn't really feel tied to this body. And so sometimes being in this body, I would look at my own hands and think like, what is this? Whose hand is this? And perhaps, you know, if I would have told someone back then, you know, they would have said, you know, he needs therapy or medications or something wrong with him. But there wasn't anything wrong with me. I was recognizing the deeper essence of who I was beyond this body or through this body, I should say. And so um, I think many people on this planet are waking up. Uh, but sometimes waking up can be, um, um, sometimes waking up can be scary because you think you're this identity and you think you're this person and it's 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 feeling very challenged um not being that person for a moment or for a certain time period but in in the past few years since i've been practicing yoga and meditating and all this other stuff i don't know if it has anything to do with it or not to be honest with you but uh since i've been doing all this stuff this this Spaciousness within me is very comfortable, even when it doesn't seem like this world is real or it's odd that my name is Billy or that I'm in this body or whatever the, the case may be. It's very comfortable feeling. It's not suffering. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel scary. It feels very comfortable. Um, and I don't feel anymore like I have to be... Uh, 
this chameleon uh, that I can just exist. I don't have to be an identity or personality in, in any situation. Uh, and in some sense, I can recognize the oddity that that creates in certain environments because um, I can walk into you know such and such place and I'm just floating floating and but other personalities recognize that there's something different about me like that, that my personality is not there or maybe it is in a light kind of way but I don't really have like any major likes or dislikes or strong beliefs or anything that I hold to that makes me say this is who Billy is if you ask me, so who is Billy? I don't know. Um, I don't even say Billy is a he. Because what matters? He, she, it doesn't matter. Uh, Billy is American. What matters? What matters what country I was born in? Or, you know, that I have, you know, this like or that like because a lot of times it, it's it's ever changing so I just am I'm in some sense I'm the same thing that you are that everyone is is this light this love that exists it can't be put into words and um, in one moment it comes out maybe by um, saving a child from running into the road Maybe another moment it's making this video, or uh, maybe in, a, in another moment, yet yeah, it's just being quiet and not saying anything or doing anything. So I feel like that um, ultimately what I'm saying with this video is you don't don't feel bad because you you can't figure out who you are in, in this life. You don't have to figure out who you are. You can be something different constantly. As long as it feels good to you. As long as it feels good to you. If it doesn't feel good to you, then then don't. Uh, you, you just got to be you. And you got to be happy. And you got to do what makes you feel good. And 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 uh, if, if you have situations of feeling like you're um, out of your body. Or you don't understand this existence. It's okay. Uh, just sit with those feelings. You don't have to react with those feelings. Just exist. Just be happy. Just be love. And um, I think a lot of times for people, this is where spirituality comes in. Because I think the right spirituality for you is going is going to help you understand these feelings and the greater essence of what this existence is about. I can't tell you what that spirituality is for me. Um, or I can't tell you what that spirituality is for you. Um, you know, you just have to try to connect and understand and stay away from all the, the kookiness and the uh, lies and the brainwashing and the programs and the guilt and all the stuff. Stay away from all that crap because that's not going to do you any good. Um, what religion will that be? Well, you know, there's good pockets of Christianity. There's good pockets of Buddhism. Um, there's good pockets of yoga. For the most part, there's not a lot of good there, I don't think. Um, a lot of it is very controlling. It is, um, very brainwashing, uh, manipulative, um, makes you feel less than, incomplete, um, and somehow you need a building to feel complete or a book or something like that. And none of that stuff is true. Everything you need. Christ, Buddha, um, it's, it's, it's within you. And when you find the Christ within you, you realize you don't need a building. You don't need a book. And you also don't need an identity or a belief system or anything. Um, you don't need anything. Just, just exist. Just be aware just feel that contentness of that spaciousness whether you're fully in your body or it feels like you're kind of floating um, outside your body or whatever and just just exist and let let this great universe guide you where uh, you need to be
Namaste.